Hi, Docs. Lisa and Dave here. Today, we want to give you the first of three out of six critical components to help you make insurance and government-sponsored programs work for you and your practice. In today's landscape, it's more important than ever to put these components into practice to, one, help you stay sane, and two, help you meet your goals. Dave, would you agree that in 36 years, the insurance reimbursement landscape has drastically changed? Oh, gosh, Lisa, that's crazy. Yeah, very much so. Um, you know, we have clients that have been uh, in practice uh, since the 80s, since the 90s, um, and it's dramatically different. It's much tougher. Um, it's a constant battle, quite honestly, with insurance companies, um, not only to justify your care, but to but to get reimbursed. Most of our clients are seeing less money now per visit than they were 25 years ago. So it, it is crazy and it's tougher and tougher. Well said. With this valuable information then, let's dive into the first three components. Component number one, insurance verifications on a new patient or insurance change patients need to be done thoroughly. You can obtain a free sample thorough insurance verification form by emailing me at lisa at pmaworks.com. Component number two, financial consultations are a must. What we mean by this is having a real conversation with a new patient or an insurance change patient in a private area about expected insurance reimbursement and patient out-of-pocket financial responsibility, while at the same time showing them a pre-filled financial worksheet so they have a visual. Component number three, insurance follow-ups on non-pays that should have paid and notes requests need to be done. You do not want to ignore notes requests. You do want to appeal denials that did not pay that should have when the denial was something other than contractual obligation. The beauty of this docs is you get to decide if incorporating these components into your practice is worth your investment. If you are feeling that it's not and it's becoming more of an administrative burden, consider how you'll benefit by transitioning out of the networks and into the patient self-pay model. Dave? That's great. I love it, Lisa. Um, so what Petty Michael and Associates is going to do to make this easier for you and your staff, so docs and CAs can do this on Tuesday, June 25th at noon central time, we're going to do an hour-long webinar. Uh, and it's free, so have your staff all on there if you want. Uh, it's it's uh, going to explore these three points that Lisa just made and the other three critical points you need to make sure that your practice is adapting to the changes that are going to allow you to continue to grow. So we really hope to see you there. Lisa? With gratitude, thank you for watching this video. And again, sign up for our free June 25th webinar on our Facebook page, Petty Michael and Associates. Thanks.